there. What I want to do today is I want to talk about a particular issue we hear a lot of in the news. I want to talk about, from an economic perspective, using my board, I want to talk about inflation. Now, right now in the United States, 2023, we are faced with inflation being abnormally high. And later on, at some point, I'll go through the macroeconomic policy of stabilizing the economy when we go through inflation. Right now, I just want to talk about inflation from a descriptive perspective. And I want to look at the types of inflation using the board here. Okay, so I want to take a minute to look at inflation. Now, inflation, this is all I define, is the persistent increase in prices that reduces our purchasing power. That's how I kind of like to define inflation. The persistent increase in prices that reduces our purchasing power. And oftentimes I say, inflation is not a one-time jump in prices. So you don't go into the Starbucks and say, the caramel macchiato is $10? That's inflation. It's not one product, okay? So inflation is the persistent increase in general prices for most goods have gone up and that's why I add the purchasing power piece too because you kind of sort of tend to feel like your money is not stretching as much okay it's also not just a shock that's why I say persistent so it's not a one-time shock there's a sense of a tail and an increase that lingers and you tend to feel it not just a joke that you can attribute to some sort of shock in the economy so it's this persistent increase in general prices that reduces our purchasing power. Now, how is this measured? Okay. When it comes to prices increases, remember the example I just gave. It's not one particular product. So you can't really look and say, Starbucks is more expensive. That's inflation. Okay. Or McDonald's is more expensive. So that's inflation. It's usually the case where you need to see if general prices have gone up. And how we measure general prices with something called consumer price index. And I know you have heard this before. You probably heard this say too many times. The C P I. Okay? The Consumer Price Index. And the Bureau of Labor Statistics. is where you want to go, that's Bureau of Labor Statistics, BLS.gov, to see what the CPI is. And it's watching the CPI over time that gives us a sense of if the general prices have been increasing. And really, measuring the inflation rate is watching the CPI, watching how it changes over time. So really, the inflation rate is the percentage change in the CPI. Watch how the general prices change over time and you can measure the inflation rate. That's essentially what they're doing. You could do it yourself. Go to BLS.gov, look at the CPI and watch it over time. Once you get a percentage change, that's your inflation rate. I'll give you a very quick example. I'm gonna go over here and give you a very quick example. Let me adjust my camera a little bit. Just move that a little. That's the beauty of the board, okay? Let me do a very quick example. I'm gonna use another color. I like the really simple example so you can visualize how this works. Let's say the CPI, let's say in 2022, let's just pretend it's 120. Okay? 
And really, it, the CPI is a measure of prices looking at a representative basket of goods. Okay? So kind of think of 100 as the base, and you go above the base, then prices increase. You go below the base, then prices decrease. So let's say the CPI in 2022 is 120. And then let's say the CPI in 2023 is 126. Do you remember what I said? If we want to measure the inflation rate, that's just only the symbol for inflation. Okay? You gotta take percentage change. I've talked about percentage change on my board before. Percentage change, if you remember the little trick, is just new minus old over old. Okay? The percentage change over here is new minus old over old times 100. And you can see which year is the new year and which year is the old year. New year will be 126. Old year will be 120. You divide that by the old year, you times 100. And this means, in this example, the inflation rate will be 5%. That's what's going on with inflation. We pay the percentage change in the consumer price index and watch how it moves over time. I hope that brief lesson on inflation was helpful. Take care.